Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. In this video, we're going to be solving linear equations using inverse operations. So very quickly, the inverse of multiplication is division. The inverse of division would be multiplication. The inverse of addition would be subtraction. And the inverse of subtraction, therefore, would be addition. So the most important rule is whatever you do to the left hand side you have to do to the right hand side. So if you're going to use inverse operations, if you're going to multiply the left hand side by 2, you have to multiply the right hand side by 2. This ensures that the equation is always balanced. So let's look at a linear equation. 3x plus 4 equals 49. We'll set up the left hand side and the right hand side. So we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 49. Now we're going to start using inverse operations. So what I want to do is I want to isolate the variable. I want to isolate the x. What that means is I want to get the x on its own. So we should start off with whatever is furthest away from the variable and eliminate that. So what we can do is we can take the 4 and we can minus 4 from both sides. If we do that, 3x plus 4 minus 4 cancels out and we get 49 minus 4 on the right hand side. So if you clean this up then, the left hand side has 3x equal to 45. Remember, 49 minus the 4 makes 45. So now we can actually um, get rid of the 3. And because the 3 is a multiplication, we need to divide by 3 on both sides. So the inverse multiplication is division. And hence we can be dividing both sides by 3. So when we tidy that up, 3 divided by 3 gives us x on its own. And 45 divided by 3 gives us 15. Let's look at another example. We'll take 7x minus 4 is equal to 17. And we'll set up our left-hand side and right-hand side. At this point, then, I want you to pause the video and try for yourself. So this is my working out. I've set up 7x minus 4 is equal to 17. Now, I'm not going to touch the 7. I'm going to get rid of the negative 4 first. So the inverse of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to add 4 on both sides. So minus 4 plus 4 cancel out. If I tidy that up, I get 7x equals to 21 because 17 plus 4 is 21. Now I can divide by the 7. I can get rid of this 7 by dividing. So remember, 7 is multiplied by x, 7 times x. And the opposite of multiplication is division. That's why I'm dividing by 7. Both sides are divided by 7. So if I tidy this up, 7 divided by 7 gives me x, and 21 divided by 7 gives me 3. So if you've got 3, give yourself a pat on the back. Now we're not finished until we've actually checked to see if this works. So let's start off then by substituting x is equal to 3 for this equation. So 7 times 3 minus 4 gives 17. Well, let's see if that's true. 7 times 3 is 21 minus 4 is 17. So then 21 minus 4 is 17, and that's equal to 17. So therefore, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are balanced. So let's check the first equation then. 3x plus 4 is equal to 49. Remember, we're going to substitute the value x equals to 15 in this linear equation. So 3 times 15 plus 4 gives 49. Well, let's see if that's true. 3 times 15 is 45, plus 4 is 49. Since 49 is equal to 49, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are balanced. So that's that problem solved. So pause the video here and try the following questions for yourself. Solve to find the value of 4x minus 7 is equal to 24, and y over 2 plus 6 is equal to 51. This is what I got. I set up my left-hand side and my right-hand side, and I've got 4x minus 7 is equal to 24. The first thing I'm going to do is add 7 to both sides. That cleans up, and I get 4x is equal to 31. Then I can divide by 4 on both sides and get x is equal to 7.75. Part B, I can set up my left-hand side and my right-hand side as y over 2 plus 6 equals to 51. So I can subtract 6 on both sides. That's going to cancel out my 6 on my left-hand side to give me y over 2 is equal to 45. And then since I have a division here, the opposite of dividing by 2 is to multiply by 2. 
Multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 cancel each other out and I end up with y is equal to 90 because 45 times 2 is equal to 90. So we're not finished yet because we need to check to see if these values actually are true. So we're going to substitute x is equal to 7.75 for the equation 4x minus 7 is equal to 24. So 4 times 7.75 minus 7 equals 24. Well, that's 31 minus 7 equals 24. Since 7 minus 31 is 24, and that's equal to 24, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are balanced, so that checks out well. Now let's get rid of that and check part B. So we're going to substitute when y is equal to 90. So 90 over 2 plus 6 equals to 51. 90 divided by 2 is 45 plus 6 equals 51. Now since both sides are equal to 51, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are balanced. So remember, whatever you do to the left-hand side, you have to do to the right-hand side in order to keep the equations balanced. So for example, if we minus 6 from the left-hand side, we have to minus 6 from the right-hand side. If we multiply the left-hand side by 2, you have to multiply the right-hand side by 2. So that's solving linear equations using inverse operations. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.